Danish Tariq Pijle from Eric Bahia Ergin Secondary School and we are here to give you a tutorial about hydraulic system maze and uh, more info, uh, information about uh, use the hydraulic systems uh, in, in your life and in your classes. Uh, so we are here with my students, please let me introduce them to you. Would you introduce yourself to all colleagues? My name is Eyvind Sana. My name is Timmera. My name is Marfa. Yeah, uh, now we are going to give you a video uh, about hydraulic systems. Please. Over the brink of Niagara Falls, a million tons of water pour. And 212 feet below, the mighty torrent falls against the blades of huge turbines creating horsepower to light 275 cities, towns and villages and run the motors of thousands of factories. This ability of liquids to transmit power comes from one important natural law. You can't push a liquid together or compress it into a smaller space than it already occupies. If you take a piece of ordinary pipe and fill it with liquid, and put a plunger at both ends, any blow on one plunger sends the other plunger flying out. Liquids can't be compressed, so here's what happens inside. The power of your blow is transferred to the other plunger by hydraulic transfer of power. This is the simplest kind of hydraulic system. Bending the pipe doesn't affect this transfer of power at all. It goes around corners just the same. When one plunger is pushed down an inch, the other end comes up an inch. And a pound of pressure exerted at one end is transmitted to the other. Suppose we have four pistons at one end and only one at the other. Now when the single piston travels four inches, each of the four at the other end travels one inch. A large piston of the same area behaves the same as four smaller pistons. Moving the small piston down four inches carries the large piston up only one inch, but with four times the force applied. This is the principle on which commercial and industrial hydraulic systems are based. Down in Dixie, billions of pounds of cotton are bailed up every year by the power of hydraulic presses. With Uncle Sam's long-range guns, not only are power and reliability needed, but minute precision is required. Precision that aims these mammoth guns within limits of one one-thousandth of an inch, hydraulically. The hydraulic stage works by the same method and times its cue right on the nose with the reliability of an old-time actor. This model is a hydraulic system which shows how the hydraulic press multiplies power. This is the pump. This tube holds the liquid through which the power is transmitted and these four cylinders at the other end receive the power. The movement of the large piston compresses or crushes anything put in the press. The hydraulic stage operates with the same reliable elements. The accurate hydraulic transmission screw in the coast defense guns is more complicated, but in principle, it is the same as the lift and the press. In any hydraulic system, regardless of how many cylinders are attached to a master cylinder, each of the small cylinders receives the same amount of pressure and moves the same distance as the others. This principle is used in the latest application of hydraulic transfer of power stopping the modern motor car. The master cylinder is placed under the brake pedal. 
and the power cylinder is put in the brake of each wheel. Now, when you press down on the brake pedal, each of the four power pistons is forced an equal distance against the brake shoes, pressing them uniformly against the brake drum. The shoes are hinged in such a way that the entire lining contacts the drum throughout the life of the car. No grab at the top or bottom, smooth, even taking hold by the entire shoe surface. These are the brake shoes of a new car. Let's paint this pair black and examine the wear they take. Note the even grip on the shoes in the first 20 miles. Perfect contact at 5,000 miles. And after 20,000 miles, uniform wear and still good for many more. So, after you show the video to your students, if you have information about the hydraulic system, no problem, you can give the students uh, yourself. But if you don't have any information about uh, hydraulic systems, you can uh, show them the video in your own language so they can know uh, what's hydraulic system, how they use it, uh, where it comes. Now we're going to make uh, a, a toy uh, as a game. Uh, we're going to build a maze uh, with cardboard uh, so they can play with their friends or they can play with it. Uh, just themselves as they wish. Uh, so first of all, I would like to tell you uh, what we use here. We need a cardboard. You can find it wherever you like. This kind of cardboard, or you can uh, take it. Uh, the, the parts which uh, the things which you buy from the markets, you can use their board, uh, cardboard too. So we need. Hot silicone, uh, scissors for cutting, and rulers, and some this kind of tubes. Tubes. Uh, it is. Uh, you can buy it especially from pharmacy, and we have uh, shearing here. As you see, we're going to put water in it. Fill it with water and. Put the tube here, so as you push it, it's going to push another tube. So uh, it, it works like that. Uh, please let us start now. We can start uh, and we are going to learn how to make it together. Now uh, Tuana is going to uh, draw its ball. So uh, after she draw, we are going to cut them. Uh, you can start to draw its, its wall with ruler and uh, then we're going to cut the walls then we're going to uh, stick them with um, uh, hot silicone or you can use another glues uh, as you wish and these guys are so curious about the materials which they are using All right, now we're going to cut it.
Okay, now we're going to use this part of cardboard uh, as our base of our maze. So we're going to uh, make its, its ball uh, so we can use it easier. Now they are drawing the walls, so uh, we're going to uh, cut them and uh, organize the maze walls. Uh, so our marbles is going to uh, move inside it. We're going to find a way how to uh, get out of the maze. Each, each uh, team should work with uh, their friends uh, and they should organize the uh, organize the how to make the maze and share the jobs between themselves. Uh, they cut all walls which they need. They cut two walls for short edge, like that, two of them, and two for long edge. As you see, it's going. To, we're go waiting for the um, hot silicone. Uh, after it get warm, you can use it easily. You can use this uh, hot silicone or another glues as you wish. So. Uh, for inside of, inside of, in, in walls, you should uh, cut this kind of uh, short walls. If you use hot silicone, you should be so fast because otherwise it gets uh, cold, so you can't stick it, stick them each other. Today it's our second day and because we couldn't complete our uh, work uh, for one hour. Uh, so today my uh, son is going to join us and uh, our another student uh, is here. Uh, she's going to uh, assist me uh, so we can finish it easily. Uh, at your own classroom you can uh, let the kids do it themselves. It's so fun and uh, really uh, educational uh, so we're going to keep making our maze
Nothing. Yes, guys, the room for maze. Uh, if you like, you can paint inside it. You can draw its uh, its role, uh, and you can give some points here. As you move inside the maze, you can collect your uh, more uh, points. Uh, so uh, now we are going to start to make a uh, hydraulic system now. Yes, guys, now for hydraulic systems, you know you need uh, eight shrink, but they should be same size. Uh, I couldn't find same size, so I I bought for big one, uh, for middle one. So if you buy same size, it would be much better for you. Uh, and this kind of tubes you can find it at Percy as uh, as well. And uh, first of all, you should. You should add some water in the screen. And put into the uh, tube. Another side of this screen should be another side. And when you press the water, it pumps it up. How about square? And now, when you press this side, look, goes up, and so. Give the movement with this. Okay, so we, we should prepare four of them, and for each one of them, you should put one uh, on one corner, like that. We're going to uh, put them like that on the corner, so when we press it, it's gonna go up and move different ways, so it's gonna be a uh, moving maze game. Now, you should give some points inside the maze, like that. So as you move inside the maze, you can collect these points. So you can make competition with your friends, or you can play together, you can make it as a uh, as a group game like that you move you get inside from here here is so easy so to take one point so you move inside the maze now guys you prepare four of them uh, and now you're going to Stick them on the corner. So you need hot silicone or another another kind of tools to spread it here and stick it on the corner.
Now they put the marble inside and it starts from this side and they are moving it. Burayı indirmen lazım ama bak. If they if they if they were four person, it would be much better to play. Thank you guys. Thank you very much to help me. Teşekkürler çocuklar. El sallayın bakalım buraya. Evet. Thank you very much. As you see, our maze game is ready and they start to play with it. They can uh, they can paint inside it or uh, they can draw the road and give some show the ways. Uh, they can change uh, its it, it, how it looks like. Hope to see you in another tutorial.